I'm Paul from Salisbury Synthesizers at Superboo. Uh, I'm just demonstrating the uh, new products that I've got on demonstration here. Uh, we've got two things, we've got the Ossidron software which is available for the Ossidron module. The Ossidron module came out in January. Uh, as you can hear that it's a drum sequencer, 8 bit, 11 kilohertz samples, 8 sounds per bank. We've got two banks available. Uh, you can do effects to them, uh, like delay effects, effects to do, shorten the length of the sounds, uh, change the pitch, and that's available on every sound. You can also change the uh, sample frequency of the whole engine. right down to there, or control it via a, a volt per octave input here, uh, so you can even play a tune on the entire drum set. Then the new module, uh, which is coming out this summer, is the ATARP, it's this one here. It's only 2 HP, it's an arpeggiator module, uh, and if I play some chords at the moment, I've connected via MIDI. Turn it up a little bit. Change the division, go into the D menu. And at the moment that's inside, uh, the clock is by MIDI and the notes are by the MIDI keyboard. But I can also control uh, the notes via the CV, so I could put this in here for the root notes and then uh, this one here for the chord type and they're both for options. So you can hear that's now selecting different chord types. Um, uh, there's a 12 chord types per octave. The first octave does one, um, one octave arpeggios, the second octave two octave arpeggios and so on. So you've got a very wide range of chords available. Um, I can also send the clock in via a gate input, a gate clock, and that would override the MIDI. So you can either use a bit, bit of MIDI for the notes and a gate clock, or the uh, vice versa, or all MIDI, or all gate and CV. You can use any permutation. Uh, you've got 16 patterns. So if I go to, um, I'll just turn the bass down a little off of that. Uh, go to the P menu. And selecting different patterns here. There's 16 different ones. Uh, it looks at the notes being held down in the chord and then assigns each note a number and then plays the, uh, a pattern of numbers uh, used, uh, based on the notes being held. Um, so the first one is just a straight upwards arpeggio, uh, then the next one's down and then it starts doing more complicated patterns. The other key thing you can do is record your own patterns via MIDI. Uh, so you just connect a MIDI keyboard and go to the R menu and then start tapping in MIDI notes, which I'll just do randomly here. Now that's now playing an arpeggio based on the, uh, the values I just entered via MIDI. That'll be coming out this summer around 99 euro price. Uh, thanks very much for watching.